Thank you for watching this video from Kingsway Soft. Today I will be introducing the SSIS integration toolkit for Marketo. This toolkit is a high performance data integration solution that works for the Marketo server utilizing Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services SSIS capabilities. This adapter will handle all the necessary intricate details when working with Marketo API. In today's demo, we will show you our software running in SQL Server 2012. If you are using a different SQL Server version, the interface might be slightly different. To get started, let's create a simple SSIS project. This tutorial will assume that you have the SSIS bits installed, otherwise you will not be able to see the SSIS project type here. In the Business Intelligence template, select the Integration Services project and give your project a name. Press OK to create the solution. SSIS is a platform that can be used to implement data migration and integration solutions using its drag and drop capabilities. To begin the SSIS implementation using our toolkit, we will configure the Connection Manager to manage the connections through the Marketo API. Right-click on the Connection Manager's area and click New Connection. In the Add SSIS Connection Manager dialog box, select the Connection Manager for Marketo and press Add. In the general page, we will start by filling in the identity, which consists of the identity URL that the connection will be using to request an access token. If you don't know this field, you can go to your Marketo UI and navigate to Admin, Integration, Web Services, REST API. Here you will also find the REST endpoint, which is needed for the connection manager. The client ID and secret are both required in order to request an access token. This information as well can be found in the integration tab under launch point, view details. There is a timeout setting where you may adjust the timeout value in seconds for the connection. This setting allows you to specify maximum number of seconds that the Marketo Connection Manager will wait while trying to make a service call to Marketo. There is also an API throttling rate setting. This is based on throttle limits defined in Marketo. The rate by default is set to 5 requests per second to respect the Marketo API throttle limits. If the API throttling rate exceeds 5 requests per second, the Marketo server may stop your request for a short period of time. In the advanced settings page of the Connection Manager, there is an option to retry on intermittent errors. This option is intended to help recover from possible intermittent outages or disruption of service so that the integration does not have to be stopped due to temporary networking issues. We have designed this option so that it should only retry when it is deemed to be safe to do so. However, there may be exceptions. We also have proxy server settings where you can provide a proxy server to connect to the Marketo server. I will now make sure that I can successfully make a connection to the Marketo server. After creating the Marketo Connection Manager, you can start to create the data flow task to facilitate data integration. Within the data flow task, we offer two data flow components that would help you implement integration solutions for Marketo. If you're using SSIS 2012 or later, you should automatically see these data flow components in the toolbox of the data flow view. If you do not see any components, you can click the SSIS toolbox button here. Note that if you're using SSIS 2008 R2 or earlier, you would need to manually add these components to the SSIS data flow toolbox. Let me pull out an SSIS 2008 environment to show you how the process looks like. You would make sure that you're in the data flow view or else you would not see the items. Right click on the toolbox and select choose items. Now click on SSIS data flow items tab and add the Marketo source and destination components. Let's go back to SSIS 2012. We will create a data flow task, which will retrieve all existing lead records from our Marketo server. 
After adding the Marketo source component to the design surface, we will configure this component. The source object displays the Marketo objects available for reading. Let's select lead. The batch size specifies the amount of records you would like to read per service call, in this case 200. Regardless of the batch size setting, this component will still page through all the records. Note that when reading from specific objects, there may be special parameters that you may need to specify due to the way Marketo API works. For every object containing the lower bound and max consecutive unused IDs parameter, you would have to specify parameter values. For example, with the lead object, you will see the list ID, lower bound, and max consecutive unused IDs parameter. In this case, you would either specify the list ID of the leads that you would like to retrieve from, or the latter two parameters. With the lower bound parameter, you may specify the ID value you would like to start reading the leads from. The max consecutive unused IDs parameter specifies the maximum number of empty consecutive ID rows to detect that there are no more records left to be retrieved. IDs in Marketo may not be consecutive. Marketo source component will keep reading consecutive IDs starting from the lower bound values onwards until it hits the maximum consecutive unused IDs that you have specified. It will either start reading again from the next lower bound value or stop if no additional lower bound values are listed. In my case, I will leave these values at its default. If you would like to specify another lower bound value, you would simply put a comma and type in the next ID that you would like to start reading at. If we navigate to the columns page, we will see a list of fields that we can read from. By default, all of them are selected. The best practice would be to only select the fields that you would need to use in the downstream components. The Refresh Component button will update the component by retrieving the latest metadata from the Marketo server. We will now add a flat file destination component to the data flow and configure it. In this data flow task, we are moving data from Marketo to a text file. We can now execute this task. In the next demonstration, I will move data from the same flat file back to Marketo. To prove this, I will delete all the lead records through the Marketo web UI and recreate them in the next data flow task using the flat file source component with the Marketo destination component. I will now go back to the control flow and create a new data flow task. I will add a flat file source component onto the design surface and configure this. Now I'm going to drag out a Marketo destination component. I will open this component and use the existing connection manager. In the destination object dropdown, the objects exposed are those that you may write to. You can write to company, lead, opportunity, and salesperson. There is also a virtual lead list member object, which you may use to write lead records to an existing list. The next thing you'll notice is that there are four action types that can be performed when writing data to the Marketo server. The first three actions are create, update, and delete, where the external ID will be required when performing these actions. The upsert action works by first checking to see if the record exists in the system according to its external ID. With the lead object, it will be based on its identifier field. If the record exists, the record will be updated, otherwise a new record will be created. For this demo, we will perform an upsert action. The identifier field, commonly referred to as a lookup field in Marketo API, is used as a key field for deduplication in Marketo. This dropdown is only configurable for the lead object as you have the option to choose different identifiers. The default is email. There is also a batch size setting in the destination component, which specifies how many records you would like to write to Marketo per service call. The default value is 200 and the maximum is 300.
In the Columns page, you can map the column from the upstream source system to the destination Marketo field. Automatic mapping will be done if there is a name match between the input column and the Marketo field. Notice that there is a Refresh Component button which will retrieve the latest fields. The Error Handling page contains three error handling mechanisms to choose from to determine how errors should be handled when they occur. The default option, Fail on Error, will fail the component completely. The Redirect Rows to Error Output option will redirect the rows that have failed to the destination component's error output. In addition, extra columns containing more details about the error can be found in the error output. The records that have been written successfully to Marketo will be directed to the default output with extra columns. The Marketo record ID will contain the ID of the Marketo record from the server and the record status field will indicate the result of the record. Some examples are created, updated, and deleted. We will now run the package. All the records from the file will be processed. This concludes the demonstration of our SSIS integration toolkit for Marketo. Thank you for watching this video. For any additional questions, please feel free to contact us.